Hey everyone, today I'll be going over Elite Code 121, best time to buy and sell stock. So you're given an array of prices and the prices are supposed to represent the price of the stock on the day I or the ith day. Um, you can buy and sell once and you have to return the max profit you can achieve. So doing this on paper is really easy. So you have your list of stocks and you just kind of figure out the lowest price and the highest price after it, right? So you look here and you see one's the lowest and then you see six is the highest that comes after one um, and six minus one. So if you buy at one, sell at six, six minus one is five. And then that's actually the answer right there. So the reason why you can't do seven, buy seven and sell one is because we'd actually be taking a loss. And if we, we can't sell at seven because it's the first day of the stock, right? Um, so that's kind of how it works. And you kind of, the algorithm is exactly like this. You get the minimum and you also get the maximum and you difference them as so long as the maximum is after the minimum. So we'll kind of set that up and we'll have a max profit variable, the current max we've seen, and then also the current um, minimum price. So to make that very clear, let's go current max profit is equal to zero at the beginning. And we know that's gonna be the result at the end because that's our target is to find the max profit. And then we'll have the current min price, not to get them confused, price and profit, uh, they're different. So we kind of have these things and then we can go through each price and we can go through each price in prices. Okay. And then from here, what we can do is, so let's just assume we try to sell on every single day. So, and also current minimum price can't be zero because uh, the reason why is if we try to sell, we'll always have a profit. And it shouldn't really be that. So instead we should go uh, integer dot max value uh, so that we can ensure that this will be fair. So very first, uh, what we'll do is we'll try to sell. No matter what, we'll try to sell every single time. So the profit, if we take the profit right here, so um, we can go current profit is going to be equal to the price of this. This is when we sell minus the current minimum we've seen. So price minus, minus current min price. And this is going to be the profit that if we sell on this day, and we can assume we're gonna try to sell every single day. And then from here, we can set the max profit to uh, compare it against the current profit, right? So we can go max profit equals this current max profit against current profit. Try to find the max, right? And this is kind of like the meat of the problem right here. Although, um, and I'm not really sure what I'm doing wrong, uh, but we'll ignore it. Um, this is the meat of the problem. However, we're really doing nothing with the current min price. So after this, we'll also keep trying to find the minimum price as well. So current min price along with the price. And the reason why we do this after everything is because we don't wanna set the minimum here yet before we calculate the profit because we don't want to buy and sell the same day. Although you can, it's just, it's going to be zero profit and it's not worth doing that. So we should really try to set the min afterwards. Although I don't think it matters in the grand scheme of things, but this is just kind of how you do it. So here is where you take the profit or attempt to, and this is where you find like the new buy-in, find the new buy-in. And then this should be pretty much it. Uh, let's go ahead and run this and submit this. And if everything looks good, we could talk about time and space, which it does. So time is very simple. It's just O of N. We're not doing anything crazy. We're just going through the prices and doing some calculations for each price. Um, space is actually constant space because we're not doing anything. We're just using the prices we're given and then we establish two integers here and we kind of like set them and all that stuff. And then, yeah, this is pretty much it. Uh, hope I made this a little bit easier. Thank you.